So we're here to talk about the three most expensive areas in South Lake, Texas. Kinda, because there are so many expensive places in South Lake. I'm going to highlight three of the upper end areas, subdivisions, so that you can kind of see what's out there. Now, remember that there are multiple estates that stand alone and they're not necessarily in a subdivision that are more expensive. But these are just subdivisions that I think are great that are top end when it comes to South Lake, Texas. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm a local realtor here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If this is the first time by our channel, then welcome. This is where we drop everything you need to know about life in Dallas-Fort Worth. For over a decade, we've been helping people just like you move here. And we were actually just voted the number one broker in all of Dallas-Fort Worth. So we know we can give you great service and help you move here as well. So whether you need to move in nine days or nine months, reach out. We'd love to hear from you. All of our information's below. You can text us, call us, email, or even Zoom. We'll get your questions answered. But with that being said, oh, and make sure that you watch until the end because I'm going to show you the most expensive house in South Lake right now that's listed for $18 million. And you're going to go crazy over this house. It's insane. So wait till the end and I will tell you all about it and show you what it looks like. So the first subdivision that I want to talk about is Clarendon Ranch, and it's beautiful. It's out by the nature preserve and it's got fields, athletic fields up against it. So it's, it feels very private. And what's cool about Clarendon Ranch is it actually has its own private school all 12 years. Now, it's a very small private school. I think there's less than 200 kids there, and I would not send my kid there if they wanted to have anything to do with sports because that is not what this private school excels in. They excel in science, math, all those things. So, but it is a great choice to have in your own neighborhood. It is a luxury neighborhood. They all sit on about acre lots and it started being developed in 2001. It completed in 2014. I was over there the other day and there were some homes being built, but I think they were private lots that the people are just now getting around to building on. So it's not like there's a ton of new construction in there. Homes in this neighborhood are going to be around 700,000 to 2.5-ish million, depending on where you're located and what your lot and your house looks like. In total, there are about 113 homes in Clarendon Ranch. Families that live here are definitely going to send their kids to Carroll ISD, and some of them are going to go to Northwest ISD, which is just as great of a school system as Carroll. It also um, borders Bob Jones Park, which is a 400 acre master planned park system, which is unbelievable. It's like a dream living up against this green space because you know no one's gonna build there and you have 400 acres of park to enjoy. So it's really nice. The next neighborhood is the Enclave neighborhood. And this street, I say street because there's only 10 homes in this subdivision. These houses are huge. You're going to see in the video, they're just, they go on forever and ever and ever. It consists, like I said, of 10 homes. Each home sits on more than an acre and they typically sell from 1.5 to 2.5 million. They are zoned for Carroll ISD. They were built 2007 to 2012. It's not very often that a home in this particular subdivision becomes available because there are only 10 of them and it's very exclusive. So it's a very much a hidden gem and it's, it's beautiful. The last one that I kind of want to highlight is Shady Oaks neighborhood. Some refer to this neighborhood as just kind of an architectural masterpiece. It's, it's stunning and beautiful and the homes look different. And I really like that it's not cookie cutter. They definitely have charm and they were built 2009 to 2016. There's a, a right at 130 homes in this neighborhood. So it is a little bit larger and they sit anywhere from a quarter acre all the way up to an acre. These uh, kids would go to Carroll ISD and the, the neighborhood definitely has more of a European flair to it and um, has way more mature trees than a newer neighborhood would have. So it's beautiful. I told you guys I would show you the most amazing listing. It's 18 million. It's the highest listed home right now in South Lake, Texas. And I'm going to share my screen so that you can see some of the pictures. I'm also going to show you some footage that I got with my drone. And I think you're going to love it. 
So this house is amazing. It is 31,000 square feet. It's huge. Seven bedrooms, 10 baths. Part of them are, are full baths. Some of them are half bath. Guys, we're talking basketball court, bowling alley, indoor trampoline, multiple pools, hot tubs, all turf backyard. It's just unbelievable what you got going on in here. So I was just gonna show you guys a quick picture. It's just stunning. And um, again, it's gated. You can't, this is what's considered an estate. What I was telling you earlier, there are estates in South Lake and I can help you get one, but you just have the, they've left nothing untouched. You've got wine cellars, you've got multiple dining areas, multiple living rooms. Uh, I mean, look at that view. It's totally private. So I'm just gonna, this is the master. It's got its own fireplace. You've got the master bath with multiple shower heads. Look at all the space. I mean, that <laughs> closet is to die for. And then that's the men's closet office. There's your bowling alley, uh, your indoor basketball court. You've got games galore. You've got a batting cage, indoor batting cage. This is the indoor trampoline workout center. You've got a pool and this is a hidden slide. It starts up here and goes through. So this is a lot of fun. You've got multiple um, spas. And then of course, a epic backyard that you can have a whole soccer team in or a football team. So it's beautiful and it's on its own little, it looks like a back road. It's not, it's right. It's so close to South Lake town center, but it just, you have this feeling of peace and security and like you're way out in the country, but you're not. So it just lends itself to the beauty and the charm of having an estate that is private. And then of course you have every amenity on the inside of those walls. So it's crazy. So anyway, Thank you so much for joining us on luxury living in South Lake, Texas. I hope you enjoyed the highlights that we did on these specific neighborhoods. There are a lot of high-end neighborhoods in South Lake. Obviously it is a luxury town. And so there are pockets that aren't luxury that will more than likely eventually be turned into luxury. But for the most part, you're living in the lap of luxury in South Lake and getting the school system and the sportings and all the things that come with that. So if that is something you desire, then let us know, reach out, comment below, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you. We post three times a week. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And until the next one, we hope you have a wonderful day.